Okay, here's Gymnopathy. Uh, here's middle C, right here. We're going to start down here on G, and we're going to use our fifth finger on G, and hit that, and move up to B, D, and F sharp. Now the fingering for that, you could do one, two, and three, or you could hit one, three, and five, whatever you feel comfortable with. Then we're moving down to D, coming back up to A, C sharp, and F sharp. And then we're repeating that pattern. G, B, D, and F sharp. D, A, C sharp, and F sharp. We're going to do that for quite some time. So I would probably get good at doing this. Get good at that first. Remember, this is just one beat you're going to hit that for. And this is holding for two. And then one beat. Alright, so we're going to do this four times. Let's go over the right hand here. We're starting on F sharp with our third finger. And we're going to play F sharp, A, G, F sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D. I move my fifth finger down to that, and then my second finger to A here. Okay, so let's put these together. Um, I'm going to go really slow here, so... So here we go, the F sharp with that one, A, the G with the D, F sharp with this one, C sharp by itself, B with the G, C sharp with the chord, D, and then I guess you could just use your thumb with A if you want to, and cross over here and hit F sharp with G, and then D, that chord again. G, with that chord, D, with that chord. Now we're going to do it again. G, F sharp with the chord, A, G with D, F sharp with this chord, C sharp, B with this note, G down here, up here to C sharp with that chord, D, and then A again with D. This is where things change a little bit. We're going to hit C sharp with F sharp down here. Back to this chord, we're used to that one. F sharp with B down here. Back to this chord, still same chords. So now E and E, and then G and B. E, B with D and G up here. Back down to D. D with F natural and A in the left hand. Now start with your thumb here on A in the right hand, and we're going to play A in the left hand as well. So look how far down that is. Here's middle C, there's one A, two, it's the third A down, it's pretty far down. So A together, then we're going to play B with an A minor chord, which is A, C natural, and E. Then C, E with D, and then you're going to play G, B, and E in the left hand, and then a D in the right. B, D with D, E and C together, and D, G, and B. B in the right hand, and then up here to D with D down here. And then D with C, E, and A in the left hand. So let's go over that part from where we went off from the repeat. So the repeat finished right about here. And we went up here to C sharp. So I'm just gonna do the right hand stuff. Uh, it goes C sharp, F sharp, E, and then D. Now I'm gonna do all the right hand parts. This is the second part of this. So A, B, C, E, E and D. B, D, C and E, B, D, D. Then you hit D again. Move your thumb over to this D. 
D, E, F natural, G, A, C, D, E, move your hand over, E and D, B, D, D, D again, move up here with your second finger, D, G, move down here, E and G, F sharp, move down here, C sharp and F sharp, B, A, F sharp and D, a chord here, back to B, C sharp, D, E, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, D, D and G, and then this is a big chord, C, E, A, and C. And the last big chord, D, F sharp, A, and D. And then it repeats after that. So that's actually really the ending. There's two parts to this song. So let's put those together. Um, I'm going to start from this repeat. Let's listen to this part first. And this is where it goes to the second part. So we're going to go C sharp and F sharp together. There's that chord we're used to, F sharp and B. Back to this chord. E and E, G and B here, E, and then B in the left hand, D and G in the right, down here to D, up to F natural and A, and the right hand's going to play D with it, and here we go, thumb goes up to A, and we're going to play A together, A minor in the left hand, C, E and D together, then you come down here, D and E in the right hand, and uh, G and B in the left, B, D and D together, E and C with this chord, which is D, G and B, B, D, and then D, C, E and A, and then D, then this is C, F sharp and A with a D, move your thumb up to, to D here, now E and D in the left hand, A, C, and uh, F in the left hand, G in the right hand, A and D together, C with A, C, and E, D, E, and D together, shift down, E and D with this chord, D, G, and B, B, D, and D together, and then D with C, E, and A. C, F sharp, and A with D, D, G, and E together, E and G in the right hand, B in the left, two F sharps, both hands, A, C sharp, and F sharp in the right hand, B and B, a D chord in the right hand, D, F sharp, and A, and then B in the left, B, C sharp, and E, D with C sharp, E, and A, in the right hand, C sharp to an E in the left, and then we're going to play, what I would do here is play A and C sharp in the left hand, and play F sharp, A, and D in the right hand, like that. Then E, F sharp and E in the left hand, D in the right, B and A in the left, E and B now in the left, and D and G in the right, and here's the big chord again, C, E, A, C. And in the left hand, we're playing an A and a G on top. Holding it for three beats. Left hand, we're playing D, A, D. Right hand, we're playing D, F sharp, A, D. And from that point, we're starting over. 